Hello, I'm Mr. Larson, as you know, and we are about to embark on a new art project. And it was my goal this year to include more projects that are that go beyond drawing and painting. So today, you're going to begin the process of designing a string art project that will be considered sculptural, 3D, fiber art, a combination of those. Um, so step one is to make your design. Step and that requires a photograph with which you will turn into geometric line art. So let's walk through those steps as quickly as possible. Here we go. So let's say I want a uh, cute panda. Now you have to use and now click images, you are, you are required to use a photograph, not an, a work of art. I'm gonna scroll down until I see a photograph. Oh, there we go. That one is perfect. Click that. Really doesn't even require being a high res image because we won't be keeping the original image. Oh, hold up. That one's smiling superior photograph found. Okay. Did not mean to start advertising for somebody on... Uh... Oh, that's super annoying. Back up. We're going to use this picture. Drag and drop it to the desktop. I no longer need Safari. There we go. Now open GIMP. Now my GIMP is right here on the menu bar. You might have to click Launchpad or F4. I'm going to click F4 right now. So you can see GIMP for me is right down here. You may have to swipe over over to find GIMP, but find it, open it up, please. And it is opening. It's important that you make sure to close at all your unnecessary software like messages, Preview. All right, so please pause the video right now until you have uh, your image saved your desktop and you have GIMP open. Welcome back. So you now have GIMP open and you have your uh, photo that you're going to be using on your desktop. We're going to now open that photo in GIMP. File, open, desktop, find your picture. It's right there. Open. Step one. You're going to be working on a six inch by six inch square block of wood. We have to crop this to a square. Uh, I don't think that's a square. So we're going to say fixed aspect. Um... I'm going to hit escape. Escape. All right, so now I'm going to try that one more time. Crop tool is right here. Uh, I want it to be a fixed aspect ratio, size, uh, 100 by 100. All right, this is annoying. Fixed aspect ratio. That is a square. Very good. So I'm centering the panda within the context of a square. His head. I just want the head. And now I hit enter. Stage one complete. We have, we have fixed our composition. Now move on to the pencil tool over here on the lower left of the toolbar. Use a color that is not in the picture, such as a bright red. Now that you have picked the pencil, you have chosen your color that will stand out. See that? Command Z is undo. Now we don't want to draw on the layer of the picture. We want to draw in front of that layer. So we have to first create a new layer. Down here on the lower right, it says create a new layer. We will do so. This is going to be called geometric line art. And that's sitting in front of. Now, you don't want to just freehand things because string art 
requires uh, essentially connect the dots. Command Z undo. So how do you do straight lines rather than curvilinear lines? This is how. You start off. Now I, I just clicked red. Oh, by the way, let's make sure your, your settings are right. Opacity should be 100%. That means it's solid. Size is relative to the uh, size of your original picture. In my case, because it's a small picture, oh, let me pause there. All right, now we're picking up where we left off. So I have the pencil tool, red color. I'm on my second uh, layer called geometric line art. And now, uh, by default, we are going, if you click and drag, you're going to be making curvilinear lines, zigzags, whatever. To undo that, I hit Command Z. Now, I don't want you to have any curved lines. This is a connect the dots, so you have to have points. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have the points marked out in red. This is going to be how I create my panda bear line art. All I'm doing is I'm going around the picture at all of the bends. at every angle where something goes from being straight to curves, I'm creating a dot. Now, let me change that color to something different, change my size to being half the size, and now with the pencil, I'm gonna click in a red dot and hold it down, click in the dot and hold it down, and now I'm gonna hold down Shift. I'm holding down the Shift key. Now I let go of the pencil, and as I'm holding down the Shift key, I am going to connect all the dots with the shift key. Go from dot to dot to dot to dot. And then if you reach a dead end and you don't want to keep going, let go of the shift key and then you can start over somewhere. Hold down the mouse cursor button, hold down the shift key and pick up and start reconnecting the dots. Oops, I hit the shift key too soon, so I'm going to hit command Z, command Z, and that undoes, undoes. Oh, I did it again. Click the mouse button first, then hold shift, then let go of the mouse button, lift and click, lift and click. Start over here. And I'm done with the line art. So now that my line art is finished, um, I can go back to the, the original panda layer on the bottom, making layers visible and invisible is this way. So I'm going to create a new layer called white background, make my primary foreground color white, hit edit, and fill with FG, fill with the foreground color, which is white. And there is my geometric line art. And that is good to go. File. Now, when you're ready to export it out, 
what other people call saving, whenever you're ready to, whenever you're finished with your design, then you come to hit File, Export As, title it, Lurson Geometric Panda Design. Dot PNG, JPEG is fine. Dot JPEG to the desktop. Click export. 100% and export. Now that just saved it to the desktop. So you can quit GIMP, discard changes. And here, I don't need this. And then here is the design, Lurson Geometric Panda design here. Now, if I just try to print this, you're going to see how it's too big. File, print. See how it's too big? That's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. That's too big. Cancel. In preview, you can hit Tools, Adjust Size. And instead of it being 7.86 inches wide, it should be 6 inches wide. Now, if I were to print this, not if, but when, that is going to fit on the uh, six inch by six inch block. Because, as you can remember, this is an example of a finished string art project. And this is an example of a six inch by six inch block that you will be taping your design in front of, and you're going to hammer the nails through your connect the dot points and then in another class you will be wrapping your string from nail to nail to nail so that you will ultimately make a nice work of string art like this. Alright, so let's review what you should have done by now. You should have found a picture you should have turned that photograph in, G in GIMP into a geometric line art, exported it to your desktop. Then you should have adjusted the size in preview so that it's only 6 inches by 6 inches. And then the last step is you are going to upload that file into Canvas as evidence that you completed this step. And that is where I will get all the files with which to print for you to start uh, hammering next class. So if you did not finish your, um, your design right now by the end of this class, then you have until, let's say, midnight tonight to upload it to Canvas. And then if you do, then tomorrow in preparation for the next day's class, I will print your design out and have it ready for you. If you don't, you will be behind and you will not have a print available in class, which means you would have to hand draw one. All right, if you have any questions, ask me in person. You can also type your questions into the discussion board. Uh, and I look forward to seeing your creativity. Thanks.